Hello and welcome to part two of this four-part video demo on generating X parameters from circuit level designs. My name is Jack Sifri and I will show you how you can easily generate a load dependent X parameter model for our power amplifier circuit that would hold accurate not only with 50 ohm load but for any load on the Smith chart. In part one I explained to you what X parameters are and I demonstrated using ADS how easy and fast it is to generate a one tone 50 ohm load X parameter model from an LTE circuit level PA. I showed how the X parameter model is as accurate as the circuit level design in all dimensions, linear and nonlinear, and ideal to use in a system that contains cascaded 50 ohm matched modules. But now, what if my system contains cascaded modules that are not well matched to 50 ohms? We need to have a more versatile model that can be accurately used with any load impedance. For example, in this picture, you see the power amplifier interfacing with a duplexer and an antenna. Sometimes we do not really know what the impedance load on that power amplifier is. As a result, we get impedance mismatch in magnitude and phase with the PA at both the fundamental frequency and the harmonics. Only a load-dependent X parameter model, which contains accurate information on the magnitude and phase of the fundamental frequency and all the harmonics, would allow us to accurately predict the behavior of the PA in the system under any load impedance. Now here's another situation. Let's say the gamma load of the second harmonic on the PA is generating some distortion that interferes and degrades the efficiency of the PA and battery life. To fix this problem, designers need to know the exact magnitude and phase content of this second harmonic tone so they can filter it out. Unlike all the available models in industry that capture the nonlinear behavior only on the fundamental frequency, the X parameter model accurately captures the behavior on all the harmonics. Therefore, it would allow you to solve this problem and design your cell phone for better efficiency and improved battery life. Let me now demo this for you. Generating the load dependent model in ADS is very easy. All I have to do is insert my power amplifier into this template, just as we did in demo number one. The only difference here is I add a load sweep instead of keeping my load at a constant value of 50 ohms. So when I double click on this X parameter load, a window opens up that allows me to sweep the load. In this demo, I will generate a load dependent model with gamma equal 0.5, and phase between minus 180 degrees to plus 180 degrees. So the model I will generate will accurately work with any load impedance that lies within 50% or half of the Smith chart. So by clicking on the simulate button now, a new load dependent X parameter model is generated within few minutes and automatically stored in the dataset folder of the project. Next, let me test my model to see how accurate it is as compared with the circuit level PA. Here I have inserted the X parameter model into this ADS template that automatically generates load pool contours for delivered power and power added efficiency. I set up my simulation to sweep the load impedance over 50% of the Smith chart identical to the setup I used when I generated my load dependent model. Next, I simulate and the data display page with the contours plot appears. Notice the simulation with the X parameter model took only one second to run. Next, I do the same exact thing, but now I insert the circuit level PA instead of the X parameter model and I simulate. Notice in this simulation, it takes about nine seconds as compared to the one second simulation time it took using the X parameter model. 
This means in this specific example, the X parameter model simulated nine times faster than the circuit level PA. Please note, we had also experienced more than 25 times of simulation speed up factor in other examples. Now, this data display contains both results from the X parameter model and from the circuit level PA overlaid on top of each other. Notice how accurate the X parameter model as compared with the circuit level PA in both power delivered contours and power added efficiency contours. The results are right on and the X parameters model can be used now in place of the PA circuit with exactly the same accuracy and with much faster simulation speed. As I stated earlier, you can generate a load pull model that covers wider area on the Smith chart or even the whole Smith chart. Also, you can add another dimension and sweep the power as you generate these load pull contours. Here's an example. What you see is a data display that shows another generated model that covers 70% of the load impedance on the Smith chart. I have also included another dimension and swept the input power. So here in this data display, I can use the slider to vary the input power to the PA and the X parameter model. And notice how the delivered power and the power added efficiency contours update immediately and they are still very accurate at all power levels. Next, I will insert two cascaded PAs with mismatch between them and compare their simulated results with the results from two cascaded X parameter models. But before I do this, I want to bring to your attention that the output return loss of the PA S22 is excellent when driven hard, just the way it was designed as a power amplifier. On the other hand, if we drive the PA with a small signal, the S22 naturally degrades and moves away from 50 ohms, as shown here, because the output FET capacitance and resistance change as function of drive level. Therefore, cascading two of these PAs will result in mismatch between them. The source impedance of the second PA is no longer 50 ohms. It is now the degraded S22 of the first PA since it is driven with a small signal. And our generated model covers that load impedance as shown by the blue shaded area. So this would be a good case to test our model with mismatched cascaded modules. So here is the setup of two cascaded PAs with mismatch and here's the simulation results for them. And here's the setup for two cascaded X parameter models with mismatch and here are the results. Notice that the simulation took less than one second to finish. This data display shows the results of the cascaded PAs and the cascaded X parameter models overlaid on top of each other. Notice how accurate the results are. They are right on on top of each other. What's shown here is the magnitude and phase of the fundamental, second harmonic and third harmonic. So this clearly demonstrates the high accuracy of the model under any load impedance and with cascaded mismatch condition. So let me recap and summarize few key points on this video. We saw how X parameters unify the linear and nonlinear scattering parameters and load pull data all over the Smith chart. And this data allows you to efficiently design your power amplifiers and other nonlinear circuits. And this X parameter data can be generated as a nonlinear function of frequency, RF power, DC bias, load impedance, temperature, or any variable that you wish to sweep. And once you have generated this nonlinear model, you can immediately start simulating all over the entire Smith chart. 
In the next video, part 3, I will show you how to generate a two-tone model that can be used to determine the intermodulation distortion products and third-order intercept. And in part 4, I will show how the X-parameter model is used in wireless verification with much faster simulation and verification speed. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on X parameters, please visit us at the following two web pages. Please proceed next to video demo number three on generating X parameter model with two tones.